Hello and welcome to the channel. President Buhari yesterday expressed unhappiness over some candidates who lost in the just concluded presidential governorship on state and national houses of assembly elections. Who are those is he talking about though? Find out but first subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you. 2023 elections. I am on RP. Some candidates lost Buhari. President Muhammad Buhari has expressed a sadness that some candidates lost in the just concluded general elections in Nigeria. He also hailed the conduct of the elections, describing it as credible. He made a comment while speaking at a farewell meeting with the outgoing United States Ambassador Mary Beth. Leonard at the State House in Abuja on Tuesday. President Muhammad Buhari says, given the chance of a free and fair election as well as non-interference as was witnessed on February 25th and March 18th elections, Nigerians have proved to be capable of deciding who leads them without anyone telling them what to do. Presidential head Gabashew said in a statement, President Buhari, who expressed satisfaction with remarkable passion towards democracy exhibited by Nigerians through the choices they made in the presidential, national assembly and the subsequent governorship and state houses of assembly elections, said Nigeria's democracy has truly matured. People are realizing their power. Given the chance of a free and fair vote, nobody can tell them what to do. I am unhappy that some candidates lost in the election. But I am inspired by the fact that voters were able to make their own decision to decide who won and who lost. With the currency change, there was no money to spread around, but even then I told voters to take the money and vote according to their consciences. Recent elections, proof of nation's voter vibrancy, maturity, says President Buhari. President Muhammad Buhari says, given the chance of a free and fair elections as well as non-interference as was witnessed on February 25th on March 18th elections, Nigerians have proved to be capable of deciding who leads them without anyone telling them what to do. President Buhari, who expressed satisfaction with remarkable passion towards democracy exhibited by Nigerians through the choices they made in the presidential, National Assembly and the subsequent governorship and state houses of assembly elections, said Nigeria's democracy has truly matured. People are realizing their power. Given the chance of a free and fair vote, nobody can tell them what to do. I am unhappy that some candidates lost in the election, but I am inspired by the fact that voters were able to make their own decision to decide who won and who lost. With the currency change, there was no money to spread around, but even then, I told voters to take the money and vote according to their consciences. President Buhari, who was speaking at a farewell meeting with the outgoing United States Ambassador Mary Beth Leonard at the State House in Abuja, said he was completely satisfied with his own role in the election process, staying above it without meddlesomeness or any form of interference. The President commended the outgoing ambassador for the enormous achievements recorded in Nigeria-U.S. relations in the three and a half years she had been here. He chronicled a number of challenges faced by Nigeria as the country strives to unite our diverse communities and achieve national development and expressed his appreciation of the way the United States is able to hold together as a nation. He expressed the hope that Nigeria will continue to make progress in building a nation out of our different and competitive communities. He added that he enjoyed working with the ambassador and wished that she had more time to serve here. In an answer to a question posed by Ambassador Leonard, President Buhari said he planned to be a big landlord back at home, working his farms and tending his more than 300 animals. I am eager to go, said the president. In her remarks, the American ambassador said she was happy with the progress made in Nigeria-U.S. relations in these three and a half years, specifically citing the recent institution of a five-year visa regime between the two countries, active collaboration in security, and the supply of military hardware including warplanes and the soon-to-come fighter helicopters, and also cooperation in the health sector to fight HIV and coral response giving assurances that U.S. will continue to assist in the strengthening of Nigeria's health sector. 
subscribe like share comment and please turn the notification bell on thank you ambassador leonard expressed her gratitude on that of the u.s government in the continuing role of the president in ensuring regional security and strengthening of democracy as a system of government citing a strong response against the recent surge of coup d'etat in west africa as worthy of commendation she expressed hope that even as he is preparing to leave there are still a few more things the president could do among which she mentioned the urgent need to remove fuel subsidy in related news president muhammadu buhari has approved the reappointment of idris musa as director general of the national oil spills detection and response agency nosdra Musa's appointment was contained in a statement issued on Tuesday by Olusegun Shogbola, media head to the Minister of Environment, Mohamed Abdullahi. The statement disclosed that the reappointment takes effect from April 1, 2023. Musa was first appointed on April 1, 2019 for an initial tenure of four years. The minister noted that Musa's reappointment for a second term follows the significant achievements recorded by Nosdra under his watch in the last four years. The statement read, Prominent amongst these were the digitalization of the agency's records, review of various forms for oil spills management processes, and the review of environmental sensitivity index map. The map is used in the oil producing areas to protect the vulnerable, sensitive and fragile ecosystem of the Niger Delta region. He also carried out many awareness campaigns on the dangers of vandalism of oil facilities. Musa also revolutionized online and real-time processing of environmental compliance documents on management as well as the National Gas Flare Tracker and Oil Spill Monitor. These are part of efforts to showcase transparency in environmental management in the oil and gas industry. Musa's reappointment by President Buhari is coming days after the gubernatorial election held across the country. Buhari's party, the Hull Progressives Congress APC, won majority of the states declared so far with little upsets. Also, President Muhammadu Buhari has written to the Nigerian Senate seeking for the screening and subsequent confirmation of new members of the board of the Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC. President Buhari made the request in a letter dated March 15, 2023, which was read during plenary by the President of the Senate, Senator Hakmad Lawan. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.